Are you awake? <laughs> What's going on guys? I am Simple Simon. So today, uh, Sarah's at work and I've got the day off. And normally on these days, I'll organize like a stream on YouTube. After that, I normally just spend the rest of the day watching YouTube. Uh, today I thought I'd do something different. Uh, I'm gonna head out into town. I'm gonna take you guys with me and do a vlog. So I do have a couple of things that I have to get done today. First thing is, um, I'm gonna go out to a place called Chapel Street Bazaar. Uh, if you guys watch Nerds Day Out with me and Sarah, the vlogs that we do, uh, most of the places I'm going to today, we've been to before in those videos, but there was a really cool raven statue I saw there last time I was there. So I actually wanna go back there and see if it's still there. If it's still there, I might pick that up today. Um, I have to remember, I have to pick up some bags and boards for Sarah uh, from Comics R Us, which is just around the corner from there. But I'm on the hunt today for a cool lunchbox. Kind of similar to like this kind of thing. I picked this one up a long time ago from the old Lobos, I think it was. But I wanna buy a new one uh, just to have somewhere to put all my little accessories for my little action figures that I've been picking up. Look, there's my action figures right there. How cool do they look? So yeah, I really wanna find a lunchbox and maybe I'll pick up some cool toys along the way if I see anything. But I also have to remember, I need to get red hair dye because I'm getting my hair refreshed tomorrow. I know I'm gonna forget that. I never write stuff down, it's not my thing. Uh, and then I always come home and realize I've forgotten something. So we'll see how we go. This is a lonely day out vlog. Let's do this. So before we start, I just wanna give a quick shout out to Triple G Comics. So Peter had a show on his channel called Let's Talk Toys. So I was listening to, to that while I was driving in. So a quick shout out to Triple G Comics. Check his channel out for comic books and toys. Um, before we go to any shops, I need to get me some breakfast. So I stopped by a place called Nguyen's Hot Bread, which is a Vietnamese bakery. Now, don't believe what people tell you. Cereal, toast, eggs and bacon, breakfast food is a myth. You can eat whatever you want. So I ended up getting some rice paper rolls and a big fat bowl of pho. And yes, I know it's pronounced pho, but I'm a bogan, so I'm gonna to continue to call it pho. Mm, look at that yummy bowl of pho. Oh no, where'd it go? That's right, I ate it all. So then I headed down to Chapel Street Bazaar. So Chapel Street Bazaar is basically like an old antique thrift op shop almost. It's got a bit of everything. As you can see, here's the windows. <gasps> there it is. The Raven statue is still there, I can't believe it. But here's a look at just some of the stuff they have. They've got a lot of cool Star Wars sort of stuff. Lots of toys hidden away in this little back corner. But they've also got comic books, clothes, old antique lights, all kinds of things for all kinds of people. Definitely worth checking out if you're not from here. Oh, there's the Transformers that I recently couldn't transform. But look, $140. I bought a brand new for $63, baby. So now we're in the store. As you can see, there's a bit of everything. There's postcards, pinup girl art. You got comic books mixed up in there. So you get an idea. There's just kind of all sorts of stuff in every cabinet. Um, you never know what you're going to find in here. Random figures there, Batman stuff. Now this cabinet here has been around for so long. I remember there used to be these little Smurf figurines in here and you can see some of them still there. They've been around since I was in high school. I remember coming to this place when I was in high school with my high school girlfriend and that this, this cabinet here was filled with Smurfs. So here you got some Joker art, some Deadpool, some random pinup girls. Ooh, now this place, Coco Rama. Last time I came to this place with Sarah, they had these Hello Kitty Doc Martin boots that Sarah saw. She fell in love. They were about $120. And Sarah didn't have the money. So the next day I went back to buy them for her and they were gone. Surprise ruined. And those things go for about $400 online. Minimum. Hey, hey, hey. Hashtag foot guy. Here's a random bumblebee transformer amongst an entire shelf of shoes. What's he doing there? Now this headless mannequin had some style. Check out her cool motorhead shirt. Hopefully no one saw me do this because uh, it might look kind of creepy. Yeah, how sexy am I? Now look at this. A whole bunch of crockery and just randomly some Xena figurines amongst it all. 
All right, so now we're heading back into the secret corner of toys. My favorite section in Chapel Street Bazaar. They've got all kinds of stuff going on in these cabinets from old stuff, vintage to new. Um, you'll find it all DC, Marvel, Spawn, Star Wars, Pokemon, just everything. You've got some cool art down the bottom. Oh, is that Dave Stevens? Or maybe I think that's the Mike Chrome homage to it. This entire section looked different the last time I was here. Um, these were filled with toys. So they've actually changed it up a bit, uh, which is the good thing about Chapel Street Bazaar. If you don't go there too often, I'm getting epilepsy from looking at that light. If you don't go there too often, uh, it does change up. So yeah, a lot of this, this whole cabinet right here was all toys last time and now it's all comic books. Here's some more random art. There's some Jamie Johnson turtle goodness there. Um, now here's some Masters of the Universe for all you Motu guys. Barbie's super hot right now because of the movie, so I'm sure this cabinet's done really well. Gotta throw in some Barbie for them Barbie guys. And last but not least, how about some Star Wars stuff for the Star Wars guys. Alright, so I was done with Chapel Street Bazaar and now I'm heading down to Comics R Us to pick up some bags and boards for Sarah. Comics R Us are a fantastic store. If you guys ever come down here to Melbourne, for those of you who aren't from here, you need to check out this store. They used to have two locations, one in the city and one here on Chapel Street. Uh, unfortunately, the city store closed down and now they squeezed everything into the Chapel Street store, but they've got all kinds of goodness in here uh, from new comics, old comics, uh, vintage toys, new toys. It's a really cool little shop to go to. Here's some Aliens vs Predator NECA figures. Now NECA figures are actually quite hard to get here. You don't find them all that often in shops. Oh my god, it's Planet of the Apes! Hashtag Planet of the Apes guy. Uh, you got some vintage Ninja Turtles here. For all you TMNT nerds. Hey, I've got that one on the left. I still have it. And I had a lot of these when I was a kid, but um, unfortunately they didn't survive the uh, circuits of time. And here's some more classic Star Wars stuff. Can't get enough of that. I couldn't spend any money because I still had one shop to visit, but if you're ever in town, definitely visit Comics R Us. Um, I just picked up the bags and boards for Sarah. All right, so now I'm off to Lobo's Collectibles to hunt for the lunchbox. The real hunt begins, um, but before I do, here's just a little bit of uh, street art, which uh, Melbourne is known for. So I made it to Lobo's. I've done quite a number of vlogs where we visited Lobo's. It is an amazing collector's toy store. It's everything, again, from vintage to new, uh, but it's just got all kinds of stuff for anyone. Oh, Planet of the Apes guy! Oh, that's Planet of the Apes lunchbox. Wait, how much is that? Yeah, I don't need that Planet of the Apes lunchbox. So here's some Spider-Man goodness. A little bit of a Spider-Verse cabinet, you could say. Now, I love these Kotobukiya Bishoju statues, but I don't think I've ever seen this Emma Frost one. It is amazing. I love the box art on these things. I found some more Ami Comi Girls hiding around. I don't think I've ever seen this one. Star Sapphire. Looking good. I wouldn't mind getting this Red Hood Arkham Knight figure, but just not today. Oh, here's some more we showed you statues. The Wonder Woman one is beautiful. Here's some more DC goodness. I absolutely love this cabinet. In fact, a while back, they had nothing but Joker and Harley stuff in there at one stage. But yeah, always fun to look in this DC cabinet because, you know, I'm a DC guy. Now, I love these Batman animated series figures. They look fantastic. Uh, I actually have the Harley Quinn one, I think. Shout out to my mate Jamie from Think Geek Theory. Um, ooh. Is this some Bowen statue action? Maybe I should get that and uh, become the best statue unboxing channel, just like Mad Spidey. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen a weird science figure. You watch that movie today and the comedy still holds up. This is more their movie sort of theme cabinet there. You got this beautiful looking crow figure. That's awesome. Now what is this DVD? Big Tits Zombie. Take my money. I love this back wall of Marvel goodness here. Love looking at it every time. It's so well presented. Got this good looking Spider-Gwen statue from Marvel Select. 49 bucks, that's, that's pretty damn decent.
Now that's a cool lunchbox, but $129, just a little bit out of my price range. And so is this Ewok one, the same price, looking good though. Oh, look at these Ewoks. I love these vintage displays they've got in their cabinets. I've got a bunch of them in a row, and they just all look fantastic. Look at them ripping the uh, Stormtrooper out there. I've got this little section in the corner right near the front of the shop with Predator and Alien stuff and a little bit of Terminator thrown in there. A uh, really good shelf. There's some Rambo goodness. Love this cabinet there. Aliens. Love it. Got to get me some of those. Yeah, I really want to get a Hicks figure. It's on my hit list. Uh, and these are some of the vintage Predator Alien figures that you may have seen in my brother's Man Cave video series that I did. Wouldn't mind getting some of those one day. Just give me one second while I do this. So Rambo was one of my biggest childhood heroes and that Rambo lunchbox just might be a lunchbox grail for me. Some cool Masters of the Universe lunchboxes as well but I just couldn't afford $129 for a lunchbox. Now this Black Widow figure in the bottom right corner there, I picked that figure up for $10 cheaper from Go Figure a little while back in one of my vlogs. Now I realise she's missing those guns on her hips, which is why I probably paid $10 less. So once I was done at Lobo's, the rice paper roll and big bowl of pho that I had earlier had started to kick in. So I went on a new hunt to find a bathroom. So I thought I'd stop by Northland Shopping Centre which was on the way home. And yes, I remembered to get hair dye. I also stopped into EB Games to check if they had any toys on sale. I also dropped by the JB Hi-Fi around the corner and checked what toy sales that they had. And they had this Wonder Woman toy for $12.99, what a bargain! I don't really buy pops anymore, but I had to stop and uh, shout out this Cocaine Bear Pop vinyl because that's pretty funny. I also stopped by Cher Tea to pick myself up some bubble tea to treat myself, you know. And last thing before I went home, I thought I'd stop by and pick up some flowers for my beautiful girlfriend Sarah. That's how you do it, boys. I had a really, really fun day today. It's been a while since I've done something like that. And I need things like this, like uh, I am very introverted. I really enjoy spending time with myself and just yeah, just recharging, I guess. So I did end up picking up the statue, but I did pick up a couple of other things. I did pick up some comic books. Now, I have no idea what these are. Issue 8 and 9 of Jungle Girls. They had a whole stack of these there. I wanted to clean them all out, but I just I knew I couldn't afford to because I knew I was going to buy that statue. So they've actually got a Canadian price tag, so they might be like Canadian reprints. Yeah, so it's all black and white. Canadian reprints it looks like of um, old golden age stories and some of you guys know obviously I have a Sheena thing <laughs> uh, Childhood crush on Sheena and there's number nine um, They had about four covers. I think with Sheena on there. I just decided to pick my two favorite of them That's those and then I did end up picking up the Amy Comi statue I was very surprised that it was still there so if you don't know about Amy Comi, Amy Comi was actually a DC comic book that came out. It was like a world where all the characters were female. So they were called Amy Comi Girls. That's the logo there. Uh, they released a series of books and they all had this kind of anime-esque kind of style about them. I've got a whole bunch of them actually in a box, but I've only got a couple out of the box, which are on my shelf over there. I've got a mirror and I've got a Wonder Woman, uh, but I really, really wanted to get my hands on this uh, Raven figure. It's very, very dusty on the back, but uh, that's okay. It will match the rest of my uh, statues on my shelf. And again, for those who aren't from Melbourne, who are from overseas and things like that, if you guys ever come down here, Chapel Street's a really cool place to check out. Lots of places to eat, uh, lots of cool shops and things to check out. Now I'm gonna call this video probably like a toy hunt vlog, even though I was technically hunting for a lunchbox. But I did end up picking up a toy from Lobo's. Now it's not an action figure, as you guys would probably think, since I've been so obsessed with action figures. Something else I really want to start to collect is um, old toy blasters and guns and things like that, right? And this one here just takes me right back to my childhood. This is Photon. So I picked up a Photon Blaster. Now this was something I used to play with. It's basically laser tag back in the 80s. The trigger's definitely broken. Back in the day, man, I used to love this Photon gun. In fact, my brother, if you guys saw the room tour video, uh, my brother's man cave, uh, he has 
one of these still, and his is in like mint, mint, minty condition. Uh, this one was a little bit trash now. Here's the kicker, when you buy these, the hardest thing to find with these is the battery lid is almost always missing when you buy these. So they had two of these in the cabinet, right? And this is the one I wanted because this one looked a little bit cleaner. The other one was more trash than this, but the other one had the lid. They were both $29. I was like, hey, I, I wanna get one with the cap. And he checked the other one, he said, that one's got a cap. I was like, would you be okay if I took that cap and put it on this gun because this gun looks a little bit cleaner. So, and he was down to do that. I mean, the guns are the same price, so really what difference does it make? Super stoked to get this. So literally back in the day, you could just play laser tag with just these guns, but you could also buy like a chest pack and all this other stuff. You had like the three LED lights here that would light up. If you got hit three times, then you'd be dead. And then there was a little reset button on the side here, but uh, this is massive nostalgia for me to get one of these, so that's that's super cool. Super happy with that pickup. Now, if you guys remember at the start of the vlog, there was four things I had to get, and I was terrified that I'd forget something. I got the statue, I got the bags and boards of Sarah. I couldn't believe it, but I remembered the hair dye. I so thought I was gonna forget about that. And then I wanted to get a lunchbox. And all the stuff at Lobo's was very, very expensive. Like obviously very old, cool, vintage stuff. You can't find them anywhere, so I get it. But I did end up finding a lunchbox, baby. I just wanted something to start putting the accessories in for my um, for my action figures I've been buying lately. And I didn't want to spend a lot, but I ended up finding this really cheap Star Wars lunchbox. They had this one still lying around. There's no, there's no um, thermos or anything in it. It's got Jedi in the front, and it's got some um, Anakin and Obi-Wan. I don't know if you can see that properly. Star Wars, Star Wars, and then it's got some Yoda action on the back. This is where I'm going to be putting all my um, action figure accessories. So pretty pumped to, uh, to pick something up. And it doesn't end there. While I was at Northland, I also picked up some of these from the Asian grocery. I picked up this Ken can. Sarah bought me the Ryu, or Ryu, sorry, for those uh, hardcores. I went back and got the Ken to match my Ryu. Sarah bought a Sailor Moon one last time. So I thought I'd buy another one to add to her Sailor Moon can collection. Now, I don't remember which one she bought last time because I know nothing about Sailor Moon, but uh, I remember it was a pink can. So this isn't pink. I thought, you know what? I'll go the girl with the blue hair since Sarah has blue hair. So let us know in the comments, guys, what you thought of this vlog. I did it a little bit differently than I usually do. But like I said, I had a really, really fun day today. So if you guys are still watching this video, uh, I really appreciate you sticking around to the end. And if you're newer to the channel and you haven't watched, you know, my Nerds Day Out vlog series I do with Sarah, um, check that out. I'll leave a link to the playlist uh, in the description. I'll also leave a link to my brother's room tour video. If you're into toys and again, you're newer to the channel, you haven't seen those videos, uh, check out my brother's man cave video series. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, until next time, I'm Simple Simon. Tell your friends and keep it simple. Hey baby. <laughs>